Alrighty guys, so welcome back. Today is currently July 27th, I believe. July 27th? Yes. Not July, June 27th. And as you can see now, we have a cherry in the MDR. This is Invest 95L. It got upgraded to a high chance of development last night at 2 a.m. As you guys know, I was not able to make a video at 2 a.m. But we're making a video now. It's currently 5.12 p.m. here ET. And we are starting recording. And we still have our two areas of interest that we are watching. We're still watching Invest 94L and Invest 95L. And if we jump over to the National Hurricane Center website, I just want to make sure that they haven't marked that second thing. They have not marked that yet. I'm probably going to do that within the next day or so. And we'll talk about that. In a second here, once we get over to the models. But let's first start talking about 94L. So not much has changed with this since last night. This still has a 2-day 10% chance. And a 7-day 30% chance. Overall, its chances are still low. So let's go into the discussion and see what they have to say. So, for the Western Caribbean, Southwestern Gulf of Mexico, this is AL94 or Invest 94L. A broad area of low pressure is located over the Western Caribbean Sea and is producing widespread but disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity while it moves west northwestward around 15 miles an hour. Some development of the system is possible over the northwestern Caribbean Sea or over the south, southwestern Gulf of Mexico during the next few days. Then, as I said previously, the formation chance through 48 hours is low 10%, and the formation chance through 7 days is low 30%. Overall, we're not expecting much out of this system, but if we switch over to our satellite data here, and if we go to the ooh, I think it would be the Caribbean yeah yeah so here's our look at the Caribbean we're going to switch it to the clean long wave infrared satellite here we're just going to hit play here as you can see there's a bunch of showers and storms in this general area but we're not really seeing that well-defined circulation that you'd expect. Let's switch it over to the visible satellite. And there might be something up here that's spinning. But we're not really seeing anything else. The low should be right there. But we're seeing something up here spinning. So I'm not sure if that's our main area that we're watching, or if this low pressure symbol is what we're watching. Either way, this is still something we need to watch carefully. But not as carefully as Invest 95L. This was 4070 at the 2 a.m. Adv not advisory, because it is a named system. This is 4070 this morning at 2 a.m. And now it has been bumped up significantly to 6080 here at the 2 p.m. advisory. 2 p.m. update, advisory, whatever you want to call it. But let's read the discussion here. And then, as always, we'll take a look at the model intensity guidance, the spaghetti, the spaghetti tracks, and models and we'll also take a better look at visible satellite as well so to the eastern tropical atlantic al95 also known as invest 95l 
A tropical wave located several hundred miles west-southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands continues to reduce disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity. Environmental conditions are forecast to be conductive and development of this system is anticipated. A tropical depression or tropical storm is likely to form this weekend several hundred miles east of the Windward Islands while the system moves westward at 15 to 20 miles an hour. Interest in the Lesser Antilles should monitor the progress of the system. Formation chance through 40 hours, medium 60%. The formation chance through the next week is high 80%. Then we'll take a look because we actually have our own thing here for Invest 95L. And here it is, it's right here. If we switch it to play, you can see that this thing does have that classic spin. We have the cirrus clouds ejecting off. So this thing is trying. It is certainly trying here. If we take this off here, you can see the ventilation coming off of the storm with these tropical waves, the tropical rain bands. But you can see, in that last couple of frames, we have a bunch of convection starting to burst up here. We are entering the demon cycle, which is when storms really begin to blow up in the tropical develop in tropical cyclone that's located over the MDR, which, if I can hit the right buttons here, which is that region right there. That's what we call the main development region or the MDR. And yesterday, if you didn't watch my video yesterday that I posted at like 11 a.m., 11 p.m., we're not going to talk about that, but... The National Hurricane Center did say that this is a highly unusual environment for late, Ju late June, early July for tropical systems to be taking part with. Like, this isn't normal at all to have a main development region storm this early in the season. Remember, hurricane season only started 26 days ago. This hasn't even, hurricane season hasn't even been active for four weeks yet. So to have this happening this early, this is something we'd expect in August to September, not June, not end of June. So this is something we're going to continue to watch here as this gets closer and closer. When Take a 3D of it, and yeah, that just shows you how high the clouds are with this storm. But you guys know what time it is. We're jumping over to Tropical Tidbits here to take a look at all this stuff here. So this is our current satellite view of Invest 94L. As you can see, bunch of disorganized showers and thunderstorms here. Going to switch it to the Divark. And yeah, we're just not seeing anything. We're not seeing a well defined spin or anything. Um, let's take a look at water vapor. It has a lot of dry air to the north of it. Like a lot of it. Not seeing much moist air around it. Other than, like, to the to the west of it. To the east of it, there's a lot of dry air as well. But let's take a look at... The Sky models. That's all the Sky models or the models. Most of them are in agreement of where this thing is going, other than the... 
UK model and the HFBI model. But other than that, most of the models agree on where this thing is going. Now let's take a look at the model intensity guidance here. And most of them don't really have it getting up to anything. Maybe, maybe a form here within the next 24 to 36 hours here. But other than that, not much. Models don't anticipate much out of this system. Now, Invest 95L. Here's our view of it from Tropical Tidbits. And right at that end of the frames there, you can, can see that sudden blow-up of convection and thunderstorms there. Let's take a look at Dovark here. And yeah, you can clearly see that center of circulation there. Expected tropical depression or a potential tropical cyclone out of this in the next two days. As it gets closer and closer to the Lesser Antilles. Let's take a look at the water vapor. And pretty moist. Well, drier to the north of it, but in front of it, it has a lot of warm, moist air that can take advantage of. Um, the L marks the storm location, and yeah, we're not seeing much at all. Most of the models are in agreement on where this thing is going to go, and where it track is going to take. And then most of the models here, if we take a look at the model intensity guidance, how it getting to hurricane? Most of the models have it getting up to a major hurricane as well with the HWFI still bringing it up to almost a category five. In fact, the Icon, the HFBI and the HMNI have it getting up to mid to high end category three status. So that's something we're really going to have to watch here. And then there's the UK model. The UK model is a joke. We're just going to say that. The UK model is a joke. It is not going to fall off the face of the earth. I'm sorry, it's just not. It is not falling off the face of the earth. However, with that being said here, guys, I'll do it for me in this video today. We'll have another update. How about 10, I'd say, maybe? Depends on when I record next. Next advice.